Hey guys, James here, and today I'm going to tell you what the most underrated gun in Modern Warfare 3 is. And as you can see here, it is the CM901. Early in this game's life, uh, you know, the CM901 had this kind of weird glitch on it where if you used an underbarrel attachment, either the shotgun or the grenade launcher, it would increase the gun's rate of fire, and that made it actually a really good weapon you know, during that time. Then when they patched when they patched it, uh, a lot of people I think just assumed that it you know wasn't really going to hold up anymore, and that you'd be a lot better off you know with you know just any other assault rifle. But I'd say those people are completely wrong. This gun has consistently been dropping people in two or three shots for me, and the hip fire is very good as you can see right here. I there's just a lot of advantages that you get when you use this gun and you know, I'll start off with the one drawback and that's that it seems to run through ammo pretty quickly so I am using scavenger <clears throat> but that really that isn't a big deal a lot of times you want to use scavenger on an assault rifle anyway but things that I do like about this gun is that it has very little kick even when you're not using the proficiency if you can keep people at medium range, like what I'm shooting people at right here, and if you can just pop the trigger a little bit instead of holding it down, you you really don't need kick at all. <clears throat> and uh, well, coming up right here, you'll see something that will be very important later in the video. See this predator missile comes in and it kills me. And my teammates were telling me there that uh, they were really surprised it went for me. That you know, I guess. Maybe some of them were close to each other and they thought that they were going to get double killed. But that'll uh, that'll be more important later. Right now let's get back to the gun. And you can see here I'm using a sight on it, but really you don't need to at all. And like I said before, you don't need to use kick. So really this gun just has a lot of things going for it that you don't have to you know, waste an attachment slot or a proficiency slot on it. So because of that... What you can do is you can run with the silencer on it, which in the silencer is great because it really doesn't change the range at all, at least in the area that I've been working. It's still, you know, a three or four shot kill. And you can also go with extended mags, which, uh, you know, that helps you out since, uh, like I said, you're on scavenger on this. So the extended mags helps you out with not having the quick reload. And you can see there, I, I shot the guy, the last bolt was through the wall, and that's, I don't know if the actual stats are any different, but it does seem like this gun gets the benefit of a lot of bullet penetration. Uh, on this map especially, and Interchange is another one where you'll have a lot of opportunities for, you know, penetration kills. And right here, you see a great double toss, or, you know, double kill with the toss there with the C4. And it's a great area that also works for, you know, grenades. So, uh, you know, if you're losing A and you have B, you can uh, pretty easily get back there and do that. <coughs> so, you know, a couple times now I've mentioned scavenger with this gun. So, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and tell you in general what perks I like to use. You know, for the third slot, Marksman is a no-brainer. You, know, you don't need to use steady aim. Hip fire is already very good for an assault rifle. And, you know, Dead Silence or Sit Rep, that's... Uh, I don't know, this isn't really a gun that you run all around the map with, so those don't really help you out too much. And Stalker, I, I don't know, I really don't know. That's just kind of a weird perk. <coughs> Another weird perk is in the second tier, and that's overkill. It's really hard to, you know, define what type of a class you would use that on. I, I know I use it a lot with shotguns and snipers, but <clears throat> really there's nothing that you just say, I have to use overkill with this. So, you know, the for the, your second tier, that's where you, you can really choose anything. You can use Blast Shield, which is what I'm using here, because this is sort of a, uh, you know, flag capture slash defend class for me and you can also use quick draw if that's something that you can li that you like you can 
you can do the aim down your sight over and over again that uh, yeah, that helps you with the aim down sight sway uh, you can use assassin if you just don't want to be on the radar you know that's obvious it's, you know one of the better perks in the game and like I said I'm using blast shield but you can uh, also use hardline if you want to go for bigger kill streaks with this you get the benefit of those assists and uh, you know that so pretty much you can use any of the second tier perks but I'd say scavenger and marksman are no-brainers <coughs> just a little bit about this map carbon it's very easy to flip the spawns so really if you just go into the building a little bit some of them might start spawning at C or sorry the if they have the C spawn they'll start spawning at A so that's what I'm doing right why I'm doing what I'm doing right here which is I just like to kind of post up behind all these things in the middle here and you know there's a ton of very good cover you don't really have to worry you know, you can see every position they can come from. You can see it from the spot that I'm here, that I'm in right here behind this barrier. It's a great spot. And for those of you who were counting along, that was my 25th kill. And the only death was from that Predator missile. So at this point in the game, I'm a little distracted because I feel like I pretty much had a Moab, even though obviously I did not. And I didn't get to call an end. And, you know. Of course, this guy kills me. That's that's great. A little embarrassing there. But I was telling uh, my teammates here because I'm in a full party, and you know, really the rest of this game, I am just distracted because of what I feel like I could have had. And if I had stayed focused, I was on a 19 kill streak. So maybe I avoid a couple of these snipes, and I, you know, maybe I would have gotten a Moab for real. Still, it uh, even with the bad ending here, it ends up as a good game, and uh, you know we get a very comfortable win, so can't complain with that. And here you see the hip fire again, and uh, so there's not a lot going on in the rest of this game. Like I said, I get sniped a couple times and a couple other weird deaths, and I speed part of this up too, so. I'll just let you guys watch the rest of this video uh, if you like this and uh, well first of all you know give the CM901 a try especially if you haven't and uh, you know, if you like this video like what I did here uh, you know let me know in the comments leave a like or a, you know if you hated it leave a dislike you know okay that you know that happens too and uh, hope you guys have a nice day.